So this week's episode of Show Me Sample shows us a new side of Reiko when she is when her invitation to it that that she extend to Kimito in this week's episode is being turned down by Kimito because he's been reminded by Aiko that he was he promised to have club activities with her and Aiko even thought I like her and see her as best girl. I must still admit that she has some flaws because she seems to be very possessive of Kimito and not wanting to share him. And I will explain that later on in this review of Shomin Sample's latest episode. And what happens is that at the tea parties, the three other girls is actually talking about how it's strange how Aiko and uh, Kimito is actually been a lot together. And she, he see at the what's called Kimito seems to be the only one that Aiko is open with, which means that is she like closed and like hides stuff about herself, like she's not, oh, she has what's called she's basically she's only expecting to receive, but she doesn't deliver. You know, like she's not willing to show people her true self. Is that why she don't have any friends? Is that the true reason? Is that really the true reason? But that is just one thing, that is that just an interesting thing that I caught uh, during that conversation. However, we see what is it called, the uh, Reiko snap, when uh, one of the girls are like saying that maybe they have already become boyfriend and girlfriend, and she basically snaps and says no to this girl, Saya. And considering that, shall we say, Reiko is always calm and considerate, this is a new thing for her, so she is getting like depressed and let's say like this. She doesn't know how to apologize to those girls. So it's lucky that uh, Aika been basically she gives up even for she say she gives up her surprise, which was a commoner party as basically a party where girls were dressed up as commoners and had stuff like, you know, cell phones and stuff. She gives up that in order for Reiko to make up, and yet, and yeah, she makes up with those girls. They they even learn about the smartphone, how it works and stuff. But let me say one thing. The way the way she was dressed, I hate that type of girls. I hate those types of girls. Those in Danish it's smingedoge, but it, you basically know those that are basically like have like lipstick and lip gloss and everything. Oh, I dislike those girls so much. I also dislike those that has this like totally man. Those I dislike a lot. So yeah, even thought this is a good I understand why they went for this. But I still dislike the look. Still dislike that. But that's not why I'm not that happy about uh, what's called Reiko because after this she goes she basically runs up to um, to uh, what she called Kimito's room when she's been told that he wasn't the one that like planned this for her it was actually Ike that gave up she and I hope that she may be would say that thank you and maybe become friends with her but no she has been a bitch and basically like are talking about uh, basically like smack talking her and say that she hates her. This of course is a new side because Reiko she's always so considerate. So seeing her hating someone is something really special. And that could actually be really bad because let's say it like this if she's really considerate then let's just now you may be not know does know this but Let's say she snaps suddenly. Maybe she tries to kill Aika then. I could presume that like maybe she's like a Yandare. Which is, oh, she doesn't have the usual uh, what's way to see that. But she could be that because she's so considerate that when something pisses her off, maybe she even is willing to go to murder. Yeah. But I really dislike that she is now being a bitch to Aika who gave up a thing that maybe could have made her very popular at school just so Reiko could make up.
for the to, with Cyan, the other girls. And still, she hates me. Fuck. I hate Rachel. I fucking hate her. And then, let's say like this. Later on, her, Kaku, and Karen is basically like, let's say, applying to the, what's it called, commoner club. And the only one that protests is actually Aika because she, she basically, she don't want anyone else to get near to Kimito from what I can read. So she wants him alone. She's actually like, if you remember that, um, I think it's called Hisanaki in, um, in English, you know, the one uh, of Boku Novari or something in Japanese, the one where basically a guy, he didn't have any friends. So he met a girl and they made a club and then another girl joins the one with big boobs. And the only reason why the girl, that the first girl wanted to make it, make the club was because she wanted to be alone with this guy. So I wonder, is this turning into this show? Where it's basically like, I could try to, or let's say like this, she's basically trying to only, or be the only girl for, in his life. So yeah, is she trying to do that? Because that is kind of a little bit dangerous also, which would mean that I would have to consider Kakui or Karen as waifu material, which mm, Karen... I don't like her, she's a Sunday rainbow, but really I don't like her that much. And Kakua, mm, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail, guys. So yeah, I cannot say that, but still. Still, man, I really dislike her. I, I can understand why she don't want Reiko into the club, but the two others, they are. There, there is no other reason that she won't basically make this club to be with him. With uh, our main character Kimito. And poor Kimito, he almost gets his stick cut off because uh, uh, when the maid enters, let me see what is it, Miki, Miyuki, she enters and sees like uh, basically four girls in the room and one of them, the lolly uh, Kuku, uh, Kakui, she is basically like naked she has no clothes off, on because she is writing down a formula which mm, i'm not sure what that formula is i'm not a genius if that's even a legit formula but man so if it wasn't because he had this gaze uh, basically macho song man he would actually have gotten his dick cut off so yeah he could be very lucky but when all that is said and done I'm gonna say this episode I really dislike. I dislike her. I dislike Raiko so much now. But before I say that a lot of time I'm gonna end this review and wish you all a good day, good night wherever you are. I'll see you later. Cheers guys.